Hello and welcome Crystal Souls on this new pick a card. Today we're going to talk about your future spouse. So we're going to do an in-depth portrait, details, traits, name, zodiac sign, personality, what they like to do. So this is going to be very, very complete. So I invite you to pick between these three pals. We have pal number one, pal number two and pal number three. Take your time, you can meditate on the cards and then when you're ready, you can find the timestamps on the video directly or down below in the description. By the way, thank you so much for your support with personal readings. You guys have been amazing. I'm really grateful. And if you guys like ASMR videos, make sure to follow me on my ASMR channel. I'm gonna link this one down below. So let's start your reading. So let's start your reading and see more hints about your future spouse. So first of all, we have the Ace of Cups, which is a very beautiful card. And then we have the Seven, <laughs> seven of Wands. What I see with this one is that your person is ready to give love abundantly because you can see the water dripping off the cup. I'm ready to pour this love into you. And when you guys see rainbows, they announce a blessing, a manifestation that is going to be bright for you even the rays of the sun are appearing so this person may appear out of nowhere they're ready to give love to you and build something with you number one talks about a new beginning so i'm seeing this as a new person entering your life ready to finally commit to you and with the mountains at the distance i'm seeing that you guys are ready to ascend together and grow beautifully together the mountains can talk about someone who is very grounded who is very mature cheer at peace with themselves and with the water i see someone who is emotionally ready to be in a loving relationship we also have some dolphins appearing on this card the dolphins talk about a telepathic connection or telepathic abilities that you guys will have so you look at each other you understand each other you don't need to vocally talk about things or you can sense each other from a distance even now for the seven of wands i see this person really battling to be possibly the chosen one or maybe that talks about the idea of how this person was treated before they always had to prove themselves to you know show who they are what they can be doing their abilities their skills so they possibly have been raised in an environment that was pretty pressuring but thanks to that this person is now determined and they will put any effort necessary to make this beautiful marriage a success so even though they had a difficult past or a very challenging past they are now able to be the provider and to be the one who can conquer you and possibly you want someone who is actually like this you want to find a partner who is going to put effort who is going to show that they care that they're present they make time for you and that is totally the vibe i'm getting with this one they also created a gap between them and the people that used to be testing their patience i want to say because they understood that it's best to be separated than just trying to fit in or trying to satisfy other people so they might be pretty much of a loner or someone who will only welcome people of value but it, they don't force it they don't force relationships and for the seasons we have summer and we have spring you can be attracting someone who is very popular so popular with what they do or this could be popularity with the people around them and of course it could be connected to you having to seduce the person and you might have competition and or maybe you are so popular that they will see okay i have to win this person over and i have to show that i have enough to give to them that can be the scenario too so we have someone popular someone tactile this could be the way they communicate their love to you so physical touch caresses hugging as well this is what you can see here holding your hand making you feel powerful and empathetic so you are attracting someone who can understand you they feel you they connect with you on a deeper level 
And we started with water, which is a very emotional card. So yes, they will feel how you feel. And this is why they want to be the provider. This is why they want you to feel safe in that relationship, especially because they know how other people can treat them and how sometimes they can really affect us. So let's see couple cards for you guys. Stay with me. Again, stay with me tonight. <laughs> they want you to stay. I mean, they do see a future with you. They want to be the one. So that's why number one. But they know it's it's difficult because they might have competition. You might have option. My soul misses your touch. And we talked about tactual, physical touches as the love language. And this is why they want to stay because that's a way for them to know, okay, this person is wanting me, this person likes me back. So stay with me, stay with me tonight. My soul misses your touch and I want you. So they're going to be quite clear with their intention. They're not going to play around. If they want to date you, they're going to say, I'm taking you out on a date. If, you know, they want to go to the next level with you, they want to live with you, they will talk about these things with you. But I'm not saying someone who plays any type of game or just pretend to be distant. No, actually they want closeness and they want to feel connected with you. This is why they want to be able to touch you or just to be physically connected. So, and solely too, because we have the soul meeting here, like my soul misses your touch. Possibly you guys can dream of each other and we saw some telepathic ability here so they can utilize dreams as a portal to be meeting you and to connect with you let's now see some physical traits so what they look like anything specific so they can wear casual style they possibly have a high-pitched voice if not about them this could be things they like about you we have somebody tall and because I see the computer, perhaps you guys are talking online, um, on the phone or on the computer, or just using any type of connection online to then be together physically. We have beauty, so you're attracting someone very beautiful. Tan and shaved. So these are the traits for you guys. And of course, the way they look on the illustrations can be significant for you too. So we had especially about the voice, appearance wise, style, and what they possibly prefer <laughs> being shaved. So let's continue with the couple kites. I can't shuffle. Let's see. So falling in love. You can sit with us and perhaps you guys will be very selective. Like as a couple, I see, okay, I'll take this one because it was flipped and I wasn't sure should I pick it. And it's just like, no, <laughs> just take me back. <laughs> okay, anyways, so yes, I'll take it. Um, now it's a mess. <laughs> now it's a mess. So you guys are falling in love with each other, but you also will be selective with your circle. Like you only want to welcome people who will be supportive of your love, of what you guys share and what you guys experience. And I'm seeing you guys really feeling a close, close, close connection with them. This is why you feel I have been guided towards you all along. I know we were meant to be. And the origins you can see here, or maybe maybe food thing, like Asian food could be, or Asian person here. We have the train, so maybe taking the train to meet each other or to be with each other. This camera, I swear. <laughs> I might be receiving a new camera, so I'm not sure I will be using for terror readings, but if so, <laughs> I might, because the focus on this camera is just quite slow sometimes. Anyways, uh, so we are falling in love, we have a day to picnic going on, so it could be things that you do. But yes, I was talking about the fact that you can take 
any transportation tools that you're seeing here so especially the train or you guys just feel you've been guided towards each other and you knew all along this was the one for you and you don't want anybody to interfere with this connection that you have because you're falling deeply in love and of course you don't want anybody to just put doubts on your mind you want this relationship to work and you might want reassurance too when you're talking to people about your relationship so let's see anything they want i mean they like to do anything they appreciate we have the airplane and we just talked about the train so and we talked about the internet so if you guys talk from the distance we can be traveling to them i don't know but i feel this might be then we have books so you can talk about books you've been reading these days or you guys can be intellectual people and they love movies or maybe recording, creating content. It's funny, I was just talking about the fact that I might replace my camera and this is showing up. I feel like this is a synchronicity for you guys, okay? But yes, so <laughs> book, airplane and we have the camera. So of course, this will talk to you personally, but these are things they love to do or they might be in these type of fields. So like I said, they can be creating content, they can be someone who is very intellectual, maybe a writer, um, they can be good at telling stories on camera. You see, these can be codes for you guys and they can be traveling to you or they love to actually travel a lot and we talk about this with the train as well. So let's see a message, what they want to say to you, reveal to you, confess to you, what's your future spouse wanting to share. Thank you for being my savior. That's beautiful. Let's see this one. You don't have to keep it for yourself. And again, it's like I'm saving you. You're saving me. I'm so grateful to have you, you know. So you don't have to keep it for yourself. I'm here for you and aiming in the same direction in love. And when you look at these, they give me past life. The way they're dressed. Um, this reminds me of if you've been watching My Demon, no, yes, I think it is, <laughs> the, the K-drama, My Demon, this reminds me of them, you know, when they're next to the river, you will get the point if you've been watching this, I'm not going to spoil you, but I'm really getting that you guys have been together in lifetimes, and perhaps, you know, for example, Asia could have been a past life, if not their origin or a place you guys will be visiting, but this can be talking to you this way. And you don't have to keep it for yourself. I'm here for you. They will be here as a savior. And you might have the same role for them. Or the, like your presence is just very healing for them. And they feel like they can trust you fully and open to you. Without stopping themselves, without restricting themselves. They just feel connected to you. So let's see more messages. Messages from the stars. So meeting you is my most beautiful accident. I don't want... I don't want to miss a second with you. Yes, they want to be with you. I mean, stay with me, stay with me tonight. I just feel they cannot wait to be around you and spend time with you. And that's why this meeting is a beautiful accident to them. And whatever it takes or have... My heart breaks, I will be right here waiting for you. I really get old souls waiting for each other. They had past life together. So yes, they are reminiscent of the time they were together. So they're missing you and they just want to be around you. <laughs> I feel like, yes, they're waiting for you. Okay, so these were the messages. Let's continue with the letters and words. So here you'll be able to see perhaps a place, a name, initials, words, anything that needs to be transferred to you and communicated to you. Let's see. Group number one. I see go, live, help, trip, you, give. <laughs> okay. We have T, so they could be a T person. And with all these letters, I see date. So you can go on a date or perhaps you can see a date with all the numbers appearing here. So we have one, two, 
could be 11, 12, 14. Um, yes, especially these. Or numbers you've been saying a lot, or 111. And we saw the ace, which is announcing in the beginning. We have 222. Two, two, so it could be about unity. 444 four, four is about stability and security. So they can be connected to the energy between the two of you. We have eat. Eat hi. So they can be saying hi to you. In French, I see following. And I was like, wait, did we see follow on the letters and words? But no. So they can be following you. And we saw, you know, the, the computer. Where is it? With the toll card. So computer, internet. Mm, I see Italy as well as a place. So, oh, maybe Seoul, just missing one L. They can be from Korea. Um, what else? <laughs> For some reason I heard soup, <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this one. Deity. Perhaps you have the same beliefs. But that's so far what I can see. Explore, because something can be personal. So let's continue with the grid. So we can see the zodiac sign of your person, or maybe the season went together. As for the other cards, we had spring and, and not winter, summer. Well, they can be a water sign or fire sign. And if you guys want to get a reading with me, everything is going to be linked down below. So for the signs, we have many of them. <laughs> so we have Cancer, Gemini, Pisces, Sagittarius, Scorpio and Libra. So make sure to claim this beautiful energy down below in the comments, subscribe if you're new. And I also have some marriage readings on my channel, so check them out and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye-bye. Group number two, let's see hints about your future spouse. So anything about them and about your loving relationship. So first of all, we have the Ten of Cups, which is a very beautiful card. And actually, this one is associated to marriage. So when I was shuffling the cards, I was like, whoa, this is beautiful. So we're starting big and strong. And then we have the Ace of Swords. So with this one, I see a very happy and fulfilling marriage. We have the rainbow. So expect to feel blessed to have this person in your life. And we can see two lovebirds enjoying their time, being grateful for each other, having their family around, celebrating this beautiful day together. So honestly, I just see the two of you just feeling so connected, so connected and so happy and so grateful that you have this amazing person as your future spouse or as your spouse <laughs> not future but for now it is a future but this will be your present and with the fountains i see someone with a giver they're very connected to you emotionally they understand you they're really patient with you they want to grow with you i can see that with the flowers and they have big projects for the two of you even the ace of sword to me is a big symbol connected to plans so what they plan with you is first to get married to you because they feel a very strong bond with you and a deep attraction towards you. We do have some fish in the bouquets, I'm just noticing it. Or um, maybe that's related to, I don't know, them being a Pisces or maybe Pisces season can be significant. But here that's a time of celebration, celebrating this beautiful love, being happy to be with each other. The, the fish can also be a symbol connected to the flow. So you can be feeling like things are in flow or feel like things are flowing naturally for me to be with this person. And this could feel like I'm being guided towards this specific person. Even to me, the raven is like, a, like pointing really clearly in one direction and you're like, I'm following this one, I'm following this direction, I'm stepping further to bring myself this opportunity or to create this opportunity to be meeting the one. And perhaps this is when you feel very curious about dating or about finding the one that you'll be presented clear direction so then this can be your future together, you see? And you can see the idea of this is all in my hand 
When I decide to be dating, when I decide to finally meet the one, this is when I'll be guided. This is when I'll be directed towards this specific person. And perhaps signs you'll see could be ravens, could be especially black feathers, but they can be different colors. Um, clouds, definitely rainbows, maybe fish as well, <laughs> or anything representing marriage. If you've been seeing marriage all the time or dreaming about I'm marrying somebody, fountains can also be a symbol that you see. They will be pretty clear. And when you see all these things, that's because you are being met with the person's identity as your future spouse, or you can be met with this near future. So if you're dating and if you dream about marriage, then this is next, the next step in that relationship, okay? And you're giving that force and power because that's part of this divine plan. And this is shining in your reality so then you can experience this beautiful and happy marriage. <laughs> so let's see next anything about their personality. So you're attracting a spouse is going to be quite protective to not say overprotective sometimes because you're all there you know you're mine and i'm yours but i don't want to share you i don't want anybody to interfere i just want to keep you for myself so this is going to feel that way i do believe in the beginning of that relationship it will feel like i'm overprotected but after after you'll feel no, actually, I'm just safe in that relationship and this person is a bit clingy, but it's not too, you know, crazy. We have distant. So maybe in the beginning of this relationship as well, you guys will pretend and play distant because you don't want to <laughs> show too much, let's say. And, and you just want to conquer the person in a way that's like, I'm not desperate for love, but I'm hoping for you to notice me. I also love the synchronicity because we have a bouquet and this is turning into a marriage. So maybe in the first date, they will gift you a bouquet, but not in a way it's like I'm confessing my feelings to you. It's more like, oh, I had this intention towards you and I want to be the provider. But yeah, they still play distant and you might be confused. Like, okay, do you want us to be dating or what? what is your perspective? Okay, maybe that's why. Maybe that's because they are independent people or introverted people. And they confess their love with subtle things. Could be cooking for you. It could be talking for hours. Could be responding to you fast. It could be offering you a bouquet, offering you flowers, paying attention to details that you said. For example, you said... I love um, strawberry ice creams. They can inviting you for the date to go get actually strawberry ice creams. You see, it's gonna be these type of things, but they're not. I don't know. I don't. I just don't feel like you're attracting someone who is just going to just pour all their love right away. It's just like I'm slowly giving you love because I trust you, but I'm still very independent with my way of being. And that's because that's their personality. So independent. And maybe that's why you might interpret their independence as distant. But it's just because they're focused on what they want to build and who they want to become as a person. So they also dedicate a lot of time to improve themselves. But trust me, they're going to be there for you, okay? <laughs> they're going to make time for you. So these were the traits. Let's see couple kites and get more hints about the two of you and the future <laughs> look at this i mean we started with the marriage so what's next the next thing is the honeymoon so this honeymoon is gonna be quite special and they want to make this moment special for the two of you you know a honeymoon that you will never ever forget because this will be so magical and special and something that you always dreamt about for example if you want to be traveling for your honeymoon or if you want to i don't know just have a beautiful night in a beautiful place that is quite unique then this is what you will get but trust me this person is very good at providing and giving you everything you desire and everything you value so expect this honeymoon to be quite special we have reunion 
intellectual attraction and I dream of your lips every night. So I'm telling you, if they play distant in the beginning, it's just a facade. This is not how they want to be. This is not how you want to, I mean, how they want you to feel because they want to be with you. And you can see that with even a reunion. And to me, this is a sign that you might be attracting someone that you're solely connected to or destined to be, and they're stepping in this life to be with you again. Unless you want to go back to somebody that you knew before, an old crush or somebody you started to date, but I'm not seeing an ex, okay? I'm not seeing an ex because we have a new beginning, a new person with number one or the ace, okay? But I'm seeing a new beginning for the two of you because there is this attraction that you could not ignore and this intellectual attraction means you talk for hours and this is why and i told you that before this person might text you fast or talk with you for hours because they really like your company and they love the exchanges that you have they feel a deep connection with you and this is because they want deep conversations too they want to find people who are not surface people who are not just going to talk about the weather you see <laughs> because these people for the person are just boring and they have nothing to you know just talk about because they're not really i don't know intellectual or not really invested in learning new things but they are and this is why when they meet you you're the same person and they feel a deep connection with you because you can teach them many things or your ways of viewing things or the way you guys will exchange on different topics it will just open their eyes to new perspective and they're learning from you and this is what really excites them they feel so connected to you intellectually and you might feel the same. You might feel, wow, this person, their mind is just very seductive or this, this mind of theirs is very, I don't know, attractive. <laughs> I'm sure you know what I'm talking about because sometimes you have conversations with people and it makes you just, like, I don't know, it brain, like your brain is just exploding because it's so magical or the way they view things is beautiful <laughs> and you're like wow what what an angel or what i don't know a magical person i'm losing my word but you get the point so let's see physical traits so what they will okay this one what they would look like anything specific for you guys red hair straight hair shabby formal style formal and kawaii asian fashion so these are the signs for you i mean the signs the the traits <laughs> physical traits if not about them this could be things they like about you okay so take what resonates with you so straight hair shabby red hair formal style and kawaii slash asian style or very a very fashionable yet you know i feel like they explore a lot <laughs> like they might be wearing something very formal and even like the way she is dressed it's formal but it's very trendy as well and it's giving me past life again and we talked about this before with the corset and everything like yes you can have this maybe attraction towards a certain era or maybe a certain culture or a certain place because you had past lives out there together. That can make sense later. Maybe perhaps now it's like, what? But maybe in the, in the long run, you guys will understand and that will make sense to you. <laughs> so let's see a couple cards. Anything about your future marriage, the future connection, We have fantasy and ooh, Netflix and chill. So it's very spicy between the two of you. And I feel you want that too. You want an intimacy that's quite attractive. And you might be attracting someone who is very charismatic without trying. Like they just appear and it's like, wow, this person, it's something else. And they might plan these type of things with you. Like 
For example, they prepare the bathtub or they prepare a hot tub for the two of you to, you know, just cuddle and kiss. And or they might prepare a night at home watching a movie or a series together, cuddling and eating snacks. So a very cozy time together here. This is what you can expect with them. But they make plans. They love to surprise you. That is totally what I can get. Like paying close attention to details, things you like, your preferences, things you want to be doing too. So let's continue with activities they like to do. So what I see is reading books so far. They love fashion. They might love Asia as well. Watching movies. And let's see these. Okay, this one. They want you to feel supported in that relationship. Because with the peeler, they're trying to make you understand that you're special to them. And they want you to feel on top. They want you to feel, you know, you're special and you're celebrated and appreciated. So with that peeler, we have the gas. So maybe the gas station could be a place or maybe they have a beautiful car. They have a lot of energy, if not that. Then we have letters. So, and we talked about intellectual attraction. So what they can do is leave you notes or even write you letters. And this is, again, like very past life. <laughs> like something most people now don't do, which is quite sad. Um, but yes, they might actually like to write things to you. Maybe write poems right um actually that's the next asmr video i'm gonna post reading poems spoiler alert um so yeah they can be doing that to you i'm an old soul so i love these type of things <laughs> that's why i also do videos connected to these type of things but yes i see they want to spend a lot of time with you and they will make time when you guys will be married you know, like even though they might have a very busy work, maybe they even work independently as a boss, they still make time for you because that that relationship, this is what's precious to them. And they want the two of you to feel connected and like you can actually um, support each other and you can count on your person. So let's see now messages, what they want to say to you. I'll be the knight, you'll be the, the princess. Yes, I was like the queen or princess. So I'll be the knight, you'll be the princess. Can I get a taste of that coffee on your lips? Okay. <laughs> and again, this is, this is really showing you this person is a gentleman or like a conqueror or a gentlewoman, depends who's watching here. But there is this old fashioned style of seducing each other, you know? Like I said, writing poems, letters, um, maybe leaving notes before you go to work, anything connected to past, um, like past ways of showing attention and love. So the coffee taste, those lips are mine. Yes, they really, really like to kiss you, as you can tell, but not just the lips because you guys will be <laughs> married and let me take care of it. Yes, they want to be the provider too. Like they want to be in their masculine and be able to give to you or to show that they can. That reminds me of a video I watched. Uh, but anyway, I'm not going to talk about this because <laughs> it's going to be long if I do. So let's see more messages, what they want to say. So messages written in the stairs. So if I walk, would you run? If I stop, would you come? I like this one. The course of true love never did run smooth. My world is full of stars shining through you. Oh, so beautiful. And you know, maybe these things are things they will write to you. <laughs> because we talked about poems and I felt guided to use this deck, which is actually a very old one, but I did not use it in possibly two years. So what a shame. Uh, I, I'll think of you every step of the way. So these were the messages. Let's continue with the letters and words. So we can see perhaps, oops, perhaps a place, a name, 
a word, anything you need to know about your spouse. For the place, we have China. I see eat or tea. Tom, actually this in French, I'm not sure if that's the same word in English, possibly, but it's like the, um, the, the Tom in the book. And we saw books and intellectual attraction. So maybe that's related or maybe to me, feel, help, reach, live, good, China. I heard étoile in French, which is star. So they can be part of your star family. Mate, mate, perhaps you guys will start as mates, as friends, or maybe meet, or meeting, uh, and reaching out to you, like maybe they will reach out to you to then meet you. As for the numbers, we have 1, 11, maybe 11, 11 could be a sign that you see, 333. Three, three. If associated to dates, they can be, for example, so 1, 11, 13, 31, especially these. So let's continue with the grid so we can see the zodiac sign of your person. For the cards, we had water and air. So they could be a water or air sign and they are associated to seasons too. So winter and summer. So let's see with the grid and if you guys want to get your reading with me everything is going to be linked down below so let's see so for the signs we have libra pisces and aries so that's the reading guys i hope you like it if you do give it a big thumbs up claim this energy down below in the comments subscribe if you're new check my other readings i also have marriage readings on my channel so check them out and i'll see you on my next one Bye bye so group number three, let's see hints about your future spouse and who they are as a person. So first of all, we have the page of wands and then we have the high priestess. Honestly, when I saw these two, I thought this is a soul bond. There is something written for the two of you to experience as a loving marriage. And this person is being curious about what is next for me? Who should I explore? Who should I be with? And I see a gentleman, someone who is ready to shine their love, to pour onto you, to give to you, to grow with you, to ascend with you with the mountains here. And with the two pillars, one is black and the other one is, I mean, one is black and one is white. So this to me shows that you guys will be experiencing dualities. You guys can be very different in the essence, but these differences work perfectly together. They complement each other. They complete each other. And this is possibly what you want to find. You want to find someone who is going to bring something new, fresh, exciting in your life. And if you guys have been scripting or manifesting, visualizing, but especially writing down the things you write about, you are manifesting as the next chapter in this loving relationship. There is a bright future for the two of you and you guys will be supportive of each other with the pillars here. And in that relationship, relationship when finally meeting the one you will have this pillar in life you can count on them you can always have their help and you will see that they always are very excited to provide to you and to be present for you or to help you also with the high priestess this is asking you to trust your intuition when meeting somebody because you will know if they are the gentleman you wanted all along a gentle lady depends who's watching here and so when you feel okay there is a connection i feel good i feel safe my intuition is guiding me towards this specific person then I am meant to write this destiny for the two of you. And there is a lot of attraction. With the birds appearing at a distance, there is this freedom. So you guys want to fly together, to find freedom together. You can be, and I love the duality again, because even the colors, it's very cold like the cold colors appearing here and we have night time and here we have daytime and warm colors so there is this duality between the two of you here 
But that is, like I said, something that complements the two of you. If you look at here, you can see the ties. So you guys are solely connected. There's a tie between your two souls. And this is why you feel curious to see what's out there to then find the one you always wanted to experience. That's the love story you imagined for yourself. And boom, there it is. You attract it in your future spouse. Any traits, any qualities, any values you wanted to find, this is all that you attract. So let's see, traits, personality about your person. So we have somebody cuddly, obedient, and confident. And I could see that confidence with the page. Like, I'm ready for this new beginning. I'm ready to step forward. So where should I go now? What do I want to experience? And with confidence, I'm moving forward towards my dreams. So... Confident, obedient, and we have a like the way they're dressed, which reminds me after the the wedding. And we have cuddly, cuddling in bed at night, keeping each other warm. This could be what you actually dream about: <laughs> finding somebody who is going to keep you warm forever. For the seasons, we have especially spring. This, to me, describes summer because the way she's dressed at night, only during summer you can do that. And we have winter appearing here, appearing here with the snow. There is a computer, so perhaps this relates to the way you guys will connect. So on the phone, through the internet, or maybe while meeting online. Computer. <laughs> so let's see next with the couple cards. Oops, this one. So you're attracting someone who is highly desirable and you might desire to be with them. You might crave for them. You see a future with them. You see that they are the one you want to build a family with. If, of course, you want to conceive or you're just going to feel like family. You're going to feel at home when meeting this person. When I just said meeting <laughs> and we have the first meeting card. This is so beautiful and magical. So yes, first meeting, highly desirable and family and i'm sure this is what you picture you want to picture having this person as your forever you want to you know feel like i can count on this person i can if i want to ask anything they will be present for me but yes you guys complete each other you feel at home with each other you feel like family and if you do want to have kids then that is going to be speaking louder to you letting you know that's a possibility with this person and this might be what they frame as the future with you so let's see traits what they will look like physically anything specific for you guys only white ones came out so short hair curly hair if not about them it could be about you trendy like things they like about you uh trendy style oh no, wait, I was <laughs> like, wait, no, this is, a, this is another color, but no, it's still white. Um, and we have music here, so they can love to sing a lot, or they might have a beautiful voice. Somebody fit, and possibly with light blue eyes. And make sure to pay attention to the looks on the cards, because that might be connected to the way they look, appearance-wise. And because she is wearing Nike, and she looks like she's ready to work out, this could be something they love to do. Maybe to do with you if you work out as well or if you just have some type of activity like a sport activity they would love to do that with you so let's see with couple cards more hints about your relationship Ooh, we have lust and maybe this obedient connects to you know the spice time between the two of you <laughs> So yeah, if you like to be the one who is a bit more dominant, this could be the vibe, this could be the dynamic. So last. Again! <laughs> so first meeting, unexpected meeting, and we have the clock. So this meeting is going to happen at divine timing. So if, if you've been waiting for these manifestations to come, this person to appear in your life, it is about... Too, you know so just wait be patient trust in divine timing because you're attracting someone that is 
attracted towards you and who wants to be with you. But this meeting can be so unexpected that you cannot even predict how this is going to appear or how this person is going to appear, should I say. So let's see next any activities they will be doing or things that are symbolic for you. So I see writing, I see computer or connection online. We have music. Maybe the frame can be about pictures, collecting pictures. Um, oh, we have books here appearing as well. And we talked about this. We have the carousel. I'm really getting like you guys going to places like Disneyland or going to, you know, any, any fun place to hang out with together. I mean, a date to Disneyland the best thing ever <laughs> so the carousel it doesn't have to be Disneyland it can just be a little place like the fair with little amusement um how would you call that I'm not sure amusement park is what I thought about but I, I don't oh the attraction I think I guess <laughs> there is music again with the vinyl so listening to music and we have the sewing machine and perhaps that's about fashion they love to build or maybe change their fashion or they can just be attracted towards fashion or any type of you know activity connected to styling so fashion music and having fun or maybe nurturing their inner child with you and perhaps you feel the same when you meet this person it might feel very liberating for your inner child or maybe with your kid you would love to go to these fun places as a family maybe that's something you guys will have to do and with this and the, the kid i thought about lullabies so you can love to listen to lullabies together or to fall asleep to sounds i don't know that's what i thought but especially like asmr sounds for example um or like music classic music or maybe any type of spiritual sound like this so let's see a message what they want to say to you you are everything i have been looking for <laughs> i'll show you what love is <laughs> yes yes to that and I love you too. There's a text exchange at 11.11. 11. And this could be a timing you see on the clock a lot or everywhere on your receipts, um, everywhere you go. <laughs> so yes, this could be a thing. So I love you too. You everything I have been looking for. And I'll show you what love is. And this one, I'm afraid I succumbed to temptation. <laughs> yes. So they're not going to resist you for sure. Let's see no messages. So what they want to say to you. So messages written in the stars. And I should be using this deck more often because it's been two years that I did not touch it, but I really liked it. <laughs> so far the messages are just very romantic. Okay, we have many of them. So I'm willing to give up everything for the rest of your life. From far away, I go far away. And again, far away is nothing but distant. I feel like they want to get close to you. Yes, look, tonight I feel close to you. <laughs> just saying, just when I said that. Um, and to stop loving, I have to stop living. No, you, wait. Because the words are not so aligned. To stop. Loving you, I have to stop leaving. Okay, 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 okay. Perfect. And this one? So watching the stars, thinking of you, you're the only one in my heart. So that was the last message. Let's see letters and words now for you guys. So you can see perhaps a name appearing, a place, a word anything specific oh australia is what i think about for the place i think of dutchland germany europe 
China is here appearing. We have sassy, ever funny time. Wish, love, night. I thought about date with these. And for the, the, the numbers, we have 1, 1, 1, so 11, 11 could be a sign that you see. Number 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1. These might be things you see. And we have time, so maybe the clock <laughs> is showing you these signs. And we saw the clock somewhere, right? Yes, with the um, unexpected meeting. So these could be numbers that you see on the clock a lot because they're announcing all these things. So 1, 1, 1 is a new beginning or you're attracting and manifesting what you want. 222, unity, togetherness, and 1111, wishes. And fun fact, we have wish. So you're attracting everything that you wish for in this person. That's why you need to be precise as well. Let's see if we can see anything else here. Due, a due time, I heard east. It's mm, pretty much what I can get with these. So let's continue and pick the grid. So we can see the zodiac sign of your person. So far we have Libra, fire. This one there's no sun attached to it. So let's get the beads. So if you want, by the way, you can get a reading with me down below. So check it out if you are interested. Okay, so here we have Gemini. Aquarius, Capricorn, and Sagittarius for the signs. Thank you so much for watching. If you want, you can claim this beautiful energy down below in the comments to manifest faster. You can also check my other readings appearing on screen. And if you're new, join the beautiful family and subscribe. That really means a lot to me. Take care of you and see you guys next time.